Hello, today we're going to briefly present the escalation options available inside of Enterprise Alert and how to best use them. The first option is the ability to escalate via a user's notification channels. A certain message channels can be defined inside of each user profile inside of their notifications. So if we go under our user and we go to the notification profile, here you'll have a list of every one of the user's contacts and what order they would like to be notified in. So for this user, for Robert, he's going to be notified via push notification on his iPhone first, and then he's going to get an SMS text, followed by an email, and then he's going to get a voice call to his mobile phone, then his home phone, and then specifically to his Android phone. And then after all that, then he's going to get an MMS to his mobile as well. So inside an alert policy, if we select a user and select the find and follow option, or if we select a team and select the find and follow option under the notification channels, this will go through a user's notification profile in order and try to contact them on each one until they acknowledge. Now the time limit for how long you have to acknowledge each one of these can be edited with a little edit pencil over here on the right. You'll see here that you got the notification channel escalation interval in minutes, which is by default for us set to two minutes. However, you can edit that to however you'd like. You can set it to one or five or 10 or however many minutes you would like for that to take before it goes on to the next notification method. So the next escalation method we have is called the team escalation. You'll see here that we have the IT operations team set with a notification method of escalation. So what this going to do is if you go to the IT operations team and go to your members, it's going to notify your members in order that you have here. So we'll see that Patrick's going to get notified first, followed by Doreen if Patrick doesn't answer, followed by Fabian if Doreen still doesn't respond. And we also have at the bottom here an option to automatically rotate the escalation order one up after every alert. So after the first alert where Patrick gets notified first, he'll actually go down to the bottom at number three and Doreen will move up to one and Fabian will move up to two. So a second alert will notify Doreen first, followed by Fabian, followed by Patrick. And then it'll rotate again and a third alert will notify Fabian first, followed by Patrick, then Doreen. And then it'll go back up to Patrick and it'll just keep rotating so you don't have the same member getting alerted first on every single alert. The next option we have is called the team broadcast. So the team broadcast will actually send a message out to every single member on the team at the same time. So all three members of your team will get the same alert at the same exact time. This is used for things such as emergencies, for weather alerts, or active shooter in the building, or anything where you want everybody to be alerted all at once. Whether or not your users have to acknowledge the alert and respond back to you can be set inside of the edit options. You have your team broadcast and then you have you can close the alert once a minimum number of acknowledgments are received or you can acknowledge the alert when any member acknowledges the alert or you can close the alert when it's successfully delivered to a minimum number of team members. So if you have two team members you can close it when 50% of them have received the alert. So if one person receives it or if you have three people like we do on this team you set it to 50% you're going to need at least two people to to receive the alert before the alert will actually be closed and it'll be closed automatically whether they acknowledge it or not and you can at any time during these you can choose the user's notification so you can choose whether they do the find and follow which follows the notification profile the user set up or you could choose a specific option for your alert to follow so if you want to choose the emails then you your users will be alerted by email no matter where email is in their notification profile now we also have the option to use an on-call schedule and when you choose the on-call schedule you will actually notify whichever user is on call at the time of the alert. So for the applications team we set the on-call and now if I go back into the on-call option and go to my on-call schedules I can then open up the applications team and take a view of the on-call schedule. So we'll see here that Fabian's actually the on-call person so he's going to get notified first and if we set a backup that backup will be notified second if Fabian doesn't also respond. So now you'll see that we have Fabian as your primary and Robert as 
as your backup. So if Fabian doesn't respond, then Robert will get it so that we still have a backup and some sort of escalation for that call. So another escalation method available inside of Enterprise Alert is the ability to use the multi-team schedule. So in that case, you actually choose that as a destination. So under destination, you choose the multi-team schedule, and then you choose which one of the multi-team schedules you want to use. And for this one, we're going to use Always Backup, and then we're going to send just to the Always Backup team, and it's going to choose whoever's on call using whichever team is on call using this multi-team schedule. So if I click on this Always Backup, it's actually going to take me to my multi-team schedules, and I'll go in and I'll take a look at the schedule, and you'll see here that for the week, we have the support team on call from midnight until 8 a.m. on every day of the week, followed by the admin team on call from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., followed by the IT operations on call from 5 p.m. to midnight. So this way there's always somebody, one team on call, but you don't have one team on call all day. So this helps split up the on-call schedule between a number of teams to help alleviate it off of one team. For our last escalation procedure, we actually have what is called the hierarchical escalation. And what we do for this one is you can actually have multiple teams input into the alerting of a alert. And what it's going to do is it's going to alert the entire application team first. And if every one of the alerts for that team times out without an acknowledgement, then it moves on to the admin team. Once the admin team has been notified and nobody responds again, then it moves on to the third team, and still if nobody is acknowledging it, it moves on to the fourth team, and so on. Now what you can also do at the bottom here is you can reiterate the entire workflow until somebody acknowledges or closes it. And you can set how many times you're going to reiterate, and by default it's infinite. So if nobody through all four teams acknowledges this alert as it comes through, then it starts back over at the top and it'll alert the applications team again, followed by ad, followed by administrators and then IT operations and so on until somebody acknowledges this alert. This way you know that no alerts get missed and everybody has seen the alert and has a chance to acknowledge it and work on this alert. And that's a brief rundown of the escalation options inside of Enterprise Alert. Thank you and have a nice day.